All right, hi again. Um, last time we were talking about creating vector objects in a free program, and we used OpenOffice Draw in that last uh, demo. This time uh, we would like to use Inkscape, which is another free uh, program for vector drawing. So let's just dive right in. Uh, as you can see, this is the program. There are some uh, sidebar options on the one side. There are There's a tool panel, uh, and of course settings across the top that are uh, relative, relative to each tool. Uh, you'll probably be familiar with that uh, same layout. All right, so let's um, do something similar to what we did last time. Let's create a call out, and we'll start with some basic shapes and go from there. As you can see, there are uh, some simple um, tools. There's like circles and stars and uh, rectangles, that kind of thing. If you notice, there are also other options up here across the top. Uh, for example, we could create a, uh, uh, a shape that is a, uh, a pie chart or uh, a partial circle or a full circle. Uh, each of these tools has their own unique uh, set of uh, parameters, so th this changes each time. So say we're creating a star um, or a polygon or something similar. Let's see. This particular star only has four corners. Well, we can change that because there are settings up here. And we'll go to the Move tool. We can move this around. Um, click on this, and we'll have uh, the ability to edit uh, the the control uh, boxes. Uh, since this is sort of an algorithmic shape, we don't have access to the points yet. Um, we can, of course, make that possible by going to Path. And uh, let's see, uh, I believe it's object to path. And that will convert that object into a vector so that we have access to the points. Um, the advantage previously, um, let me undo this. The advantage previously was that this object had little special control handles that by manipulating these, you controlled the various parameters of the shape. Um, a great example of that would be the rectangle tool where you can see we can control these control handles and it gives us control over the roundness of the corners um and this if this were a vector object made out of points you wouldn't have that uh, specific set of controls although you would have the advantage if that were a uh, path you'd have the advantage of editing those points directly uh, which happened to be uh, controlled via curve handles and such which we can actually access so let me undo that and uh, let's continue with this star shape that was kind of interesting so um, unlike open office you uh, you don't go to the top to select the color you just select the color across the bottom and uh, that's easy enough to set up there's also the notion of an outline color. We can do this over here on this sidebar. There's the fill. We can use uh, gradients just like we did before um, or other things, patterns that, and, and such. We can specifically select the color or we can select it down here. Um, but also we can change the outline color. Whoops. The outline color by selecting uh, stroke paint. And uh, that that's the paint color of the stroke. The stroke is uh, the outline surrounding this. As you, you see here, now we have an outline surrounding this. Uh, we can change that color. Uh, we can we could even add a gradient to that, or something similar. Um, but also we have uh, parameters or control over these uh, control over the. Uh, style of this stroke uh, it can have rounded or uh, let's see rounded uh, edges let me zoom in a little bit see that better these can be either square or round or tapered so uh, you can see the difference between rounded and or squared and tapered there and you can see the difference between squared tapered and rounded there uh, let's see had this been a, uh, a line let me draw a line. Uh, we'd also have some other control over this. Um, 
we could, for example, add a uh, end cap and a start cap, and also a line style such as dots and dashes. Uh, let's let's do that. Let's add a uh, end cap to this. Let's give it an arrowhead right at the end of that. So that's pretty cool. Let's make this a little bit wider while we're at it. And what I'm going to do now is combine these two objects. Uh, as I said before, we have control over these little uh, things, or we can go ahead and go to objects and or path and convert this to a path uh, where we have control over the exact points where we can edit each point as we want to. So I might go and do that so each of these little uh, star segment has its own sort of unique quality to it so it'll be somewhat random looking instead of uh, whoops you can always undo stuff if you mess up that's one good thing about it uh, now I'm gonna combine these two objects let me take this thing move it I want to also uh, have this facing in a different direction and I want to have this coming out of this little star thing somewhere and I'm gonna move this over here uh, but since this is a vector line, it's not actually a, uh, a shape. We have to convert that into a path as well. So let's go to path and stroke to path. This is a stroke. Let's convert that to the path. And now this has objects that can be edited, as you see here, specifically. Um, I don't necessarily want to do that, but we can do that. Um, so let's combine these three things. Uh, as you see, we have the original star. We have this line with its uh, arrowhead part, and then it has the uh, the line part. So that's three parts. So let's select those and go to, uh, let's see, path and union. And voila, they become one object. Um, it's kind of ugly looking right now because the outline is so thick. So I'm just going to get rid of the outline, and we'll have... Uh, this this object uh, with a line pointing uh, downward, whatever whatever that is. But uh, a good exercise, anyways. Let's take and apply that and actually make something useful. So let's make a call out um, with a simple square, kind of rounded square, and let's give it a. Uh, I'm going to use this uh, this thing called the. Uh, Bezier curve uh, tool here and I'm going to put it on uh, there's some options at the top I'm going to put it on create a uh, sequence of straight line segments uh, segments in other words it's going to be a polygon instead of a uh, a Bezier path so I'm just going to click here here and here and then I'm going to close it by clicking back on the original and we got this shape um, mind you it doesn't it's not filled in or anything but once we make a union of these two things it'll change the uh, the color and fill settings from this one into the second one. I'm just going to make sure I select this one first. Shift, and select that second one. I'm going to go to Path and Union, and the two objects become one. All right, so that is our call out. Um, we could put some text in there if we wanted to, of course, like, I don't know what big sale today. I need trouble hitting the right button today. All right, and uh, this is also a vector, so we can scale it and everything without it uh, getting uh, pixelized and all that stuff. So, um, and of course, you have options here too. You can select the, uh, the 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 fonts and all that stuff, uh, the the sizes, and uh, do all your other types of things, your uh, alignment and all that. So, um, that is basically. Uh, using Inkscape. Uh, another thing we can do here is uh, it's useful to group these so they become uh, a sort of a group that you can move move around all together at the same time. So I'm going to go to Object Group and see now when I click on just part of this, the whole thing is uh, something I can edit. Um, there is one thing I would like to do to this. I would like to make this hand this uh, this little uh, part here curved instead of straight. So let's go into that where we can edit the points um, there's not points where I want them so I'm just going to click there on that corner and it creates a new point there I'm going to do the same here I'm going to move it down 
And this is nice, but I don't want this hard edge kink, so I'm going to make these uh, smooth. And up here, there is a, a couple of options. Uh, one is make selected nodes smooth. So I'm going to do that there. And I'm going to do uh, that again for that one. 